guys it's me morgan i'm here with another dollar tree haul and this one's really exciting i found a lot of goodies in one store that is always super exciting for me um, and it was my local store which makes it even better um so with that being said if you are new to my channel hello and welcome and go ahead and hit that subscribe button um and I am happy to welcome you into my channel, my family. So, um, if you like this kind of stuff, go follow me on Instagram. It is Cozy with Morgan and the number two. I post there daily. So, go check it out. And without any further delay, let's get started. We are going to start with food. Um, I actually bought quite a bit of food this go-around. I normally don't, but... For whatever reason, this time I did. So first we're gonna start off with these Premier Proteins. Um, I only bought two, because I'm not sure how I feel about these flavors. Um, this is peaches and cream. And this one is strawberry and cream. Um, they are both 11 fluid ounces. They have 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, 1 gram of sugar, and 24 vitamins and minerals, and they are low fat. Um, I suffer from low blood sugar, so protein helps even my sugar levels out. Um, and my doctor has actually suggested I drink these for like a breakfast instead of skipping breakfast because I'm not a big breakfast person. Whoa, some stuff's happening over here. Hang on. Okay. So, um, I've had the chocolate and I've had the vanilla. Um, but I wanted to try these. I wanted to give these a go. So, and they're pretty expensive, to be honest. Alright, next. I purchased six of these, two of each flavor. Um, they are the V8 Sparkling Energy. It's a steady, steady energy from black and green tea. Naturally flavored. Um, one combined serving of fruit and veggies. Caffeine level is 80 milligrams. So, I thought I'd give these a try. This one is the Strawberry Kiwi. And they are 11.5 fluid ounces. And 50 calories if you care. And it says plant-based energy beverage. So any other type of thing you can get energy from that isn't super bad for you. I'm all for it. Um, I thought I seen distributed by Campbell Soup Company. I thought I saw. There it is. August 8th, 2021 is expiration on those. Next, I picked up two of the orange pineapple. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I, it sounds good. So, we'll see. And it's the same thing, 11.550. These you have until August 11th. Yeah, so these you have two days longer. All right. And then the last two I purchased was black cherry. These are August 28th. Hmm. But black cherry is usually a good flavor, so hopefully it's good. All right. Just put that there. Um, so I also went on the day the bread truck was there. So, I just picked up one loaf of butternut large bread. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And then I picked up one loaf of the 12 Golden Honey Hot Dogs. I plan on grilling out hot dogs this week, so perfect. And... 12 pack of the butternut uh, golden honey hamburger buns. Do y'all hear that? Can you hear that singing? That's my daughter in the shower. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you 
in here that I, I do apologize. All right, next I picked up just one more bag of these outrageous quick one minute oats. These are fantastic. They are a product of Sri Lanka. And I actually have um, over here in my pantry cupboard, I have like three bags, I think. But I emptied one, so I like to try to keep it replaced as long as I can. I like to make overnight oats with these. They are fantastic for that. Also picked up a box of this Champion Jumbo Raisin Medleys. Um, I saw Lee from Lee's Homes. Go check her out. She's she's pretty cool. Tell her um, Morgan from Cozy with Morgan sent you. Um, she hauled these and she said her husband loves them. And I just thought these would be good to add into my overnight oats. Um, I try to add some fruits and stuff to them. Um, but it's just something different, I guess, really. And it says no GMO, gluten-free, a fat and cholesterol-free food. Um, best by... June 4th, 2021. So there's those. Next up, I bought... I hadn't seen these before, but I also have never really looked for them. Um, this is Sun Best Pastry Crisps. There's two biscuits in a pouch. And there's eight pastry crisps. I picked up this at Apple Cinnamon. And this is a product of, oh, expires 6-30-2021. And somewhere on here, it is a product of Netherlands. So, and then I also picked it up in the Mixed Berry. These were the only two scents I found, or scents, <laughs> only two flavors I found. Um, when I do... Eat breakfast, I always like it to be something light. Because, I, I, like I said, I'm not a big breakfast person. This was on my wish list. I had seen Theoni from Thrifty Divas haul this. Go check her out. Tell her um, Morgan from Cozy with Morgan sent you. And this is the four pack of nacho cheese. I have been looking for this. I had not found it. It is jalapeno cheddar. Um, I recently hauled the frozen pretzels. And how good would this be? It does say do not microwave. So if you want to heat it up, which I'm going to, I'm going to put it in a little glass tub of bowl and do it that way. But soft baked pretzels with jalapeno cheddar? Yes. Or even nachos. Oh, man. But everyone I've been seeing says these are great. And they are best by July 28th, 2021. Um, this one's boring. It's just a 16 fluid out of Golden Chef vegetable oil. I was just out of vegetable oil and I don't need a whole lot. This isn't the best deal. But um, to be honest, the only thing I use this for is um, my charcoal grill. I have the little charcoal chimney at the bottom of it i put um, paper towels with fish oil on it and catch it on fire and it helps it's a slow burn and it just makes the charcoal burn more evenly next i picked up these this is a repurchase this chicken crackers nothing fancy my kids love these my husband loves these um my daughter and my husband actually fight over the last box of these most of the time these are good until November 8th, 2021. And then I picked up these garden vegetable crackers. I feel like this is going to be more up my alley. So if you've tried these, comment down below and let me know how if you like them. It says made with real vegetables. October 4th, 2021. And last in the food, I was super excited about this. Minions, family size, name brand cereal, General Mills. 
for a buck. It is Vanilla Vibe. That's what it looks like. It has little marshmallows and stuff. So, I mean, cereal is expensive. And it doesn't expire until August 26th of this year. Family size. I guarantee you this is going to be at least five bucks in the store. So, yes. And they were didn't have a whole lot of them. Um, I'm sure I was late to the game getting there. but So, I just bought one box. If they had more, I probably would have bought more. Because I'm, I'm sure my son will love these. All right. I'm sorry if I'm kind of just out there, but I have a lot to get through. And I want to be able to fit it in one video because I'm dying to get my hands on some of these products. Okay. So, next up, we will do household which if you have are new to the channel um household for me is random it is cleaning supplies it is decor it is just whatever in one category instead of a bunch of little tiny different categories i just put it into one first off let me show you this this is a 75 fluid ounce cup do you see that It says Summer Vibes, and it has all these pineapples and flowers and fruits and stuff. Ugh. Guys. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And they had a couple different options, but I just went with this one. This is going to be fantastic for being out by the pool, having a cold water in there. Yes. Yes. And the colors are on point excited about that all right to go along with that i also picked up this hang on this one doesn't tell me how much is in there but it is a tumbler and it is has this fantastic iridescent pineapple that says summer vibes it has the screw on lid i just bought one of these and my daughter does not know that i bought it for her yet and she's gonna die because this is fantastic so and i love this color that they're doing all right i picked up another one of these brillo basics bathroom wipes you get 40 wipes in here um I like to keep this kind of stuff in the bathroom so you can kind of wipe it down as need be and then deep clean it just every so often. Um, these are made in Turkey and it just says bathroom wipes. It doesn't say a scent or anything. So, I just like it. Next, I picked up two of these tins. I'm going to show you this one first. This one has the same design as the water bottle I hauled a while back. That red truck. There we go. It has a red ribbon. And then this one has like a gold yellow ribbon. But this one is a pale yellow. And it says, celebrate, happy 4th of July, USA, freedom ring, one nation, very America. And I bought these to put in my tear tray for 4th of July. Well, this one I'm going to put for several different occasions. But this one's going to be for 4th of July because it says 4th of July. And then I picked up this. You see how that's shaped? Isn't that neat? Um, it is like a votive. It doesn't say what they're calling it, but I'm calling it a votive. And they had this in like a fallish color green and orange and stuff, but I bought just one of these. Um, I want to put, it's going to be hard because of the design there, but because it, it scoops in. I want to put something, a flag or something, and put it in my tear tray for Memorial Day, Labor Day, and Fourth of July. Um... I just love that blue. It is gorgeous. And it is glass. And then I found 
found these darlings. And I like these. I'm going to keep one for myself and put the other two away for gifts at some point. They are these little tiny, like, they're just decor, but like they look like the little pictures. But this one says local and fresh in this really, really pale mint color. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it is really pale mint. It is super cute. And they're not very big. But they would be great to put in a tear tray or um, put a couple of wildflowers in. And then these two are both white, but they say different. This one says our farmhouse. Very farmhouse chic. And this one says a farm sweet farm. I love this one. These are going to be great to add to a gift basket or... Um, just a little gift, like if you have a, a co-worker or something, just a little something. So, and they had a couple different options, but those are the only three I really liked. Next, I purchased these um, flower sack towels. But this one says, shake it off and has a salt and pepper. Shake it off, just shake it off. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Sorry. And then this one says chillin' and grillin'. I just thought they were cute to hang out for the summer season. I picked up a tote by Juncture and it says good vibes only. They've had these before. I don't know, don't think this was one of the quotes, but it is the burlap, not burlap, what is this? I don't know what you call it. But anyway, it does have the really long straps here. Um, they had the one that said like farm fresh or something a while back and I had hauled those, but I don't think this was an option because I would have got it for myself. So there's that. And then I picked up a three pair set of these Juncture Kids Half Cushion Low Cut Socks. Fit shoe size is seven to two. I picked him up for my son because he's been going um, next door and jumping on the French trampoline and his socks never make it home. I, I don't know what's going on to him. I don't, I don't know. They just never make it home. So, three for a dollar. Why not? And they're super squishy. Like they get, they're cushiony. That's the word I wanted to say. Alright, now these two items are in the baby section. And they are these bibs. Now, y'all know, if you, if you watch, you know I had to get this one. I just, I had to. Penguin. Look how cute he is with his little bow tie. These do have, like, the catcher things. Um, they are just little plastic, nothing fancy. But, look how cute that penguin is. And then I picked up Unicorn. Because, you got to. And this one has the bib tray as well. So, there are those. And I hadn't seen these before, so I was pretty excited about that. Whoops. Okay. Next is um, stationery and crafter square. And stuff like that. Okay. So, I just picked up a pair of these Westcott 7 Ant. 7 inch scissors. Um, I got these to put in the craft bin for our craft nights with the girls. That way we don't have to search for scissors. We'll just have one there. Nothing fancy. 5 year warranty. Durable stainless steel. Lightweight comfortable design. All purpose. I picked up this retractable eraser. And it comes with 3 refills. Um... Well, it comes with the one that's in there and it comes with two refills. But I just picked it up in green. They had it in blue and like a really pale gray as well. But I just picked it up in this green. It is by Jot. I picked up another one of these um, notebooks. This is by Jot as well. 
It is 80 sheets and it has the little binder thing. And it is lined. I've hauled every single color of these now. Green, blue, purple, and now pink. I love these. They're great. Alright. I picked up a six pack of the art palettes. The little plastic art palettes. You get six of them in there. There's six cubby hole things. Um, I got this to put in the crafter square. Or crafter square. <laughs> The craft tote for craft night as well. That way we don't have to worry about it. And then I picked up some ribbon from the floral garden section. This one, and it's in the line, they're calling it animal ribbon, which only one of these understand why they say that. But let me just look at this. Red and black buffalo check. You get... Nine feet. And then to go with that, you get the black and white buffalo. Also nine feet. These are going to be great for, you know, as much as I hate to say this in the middle of March. No April. We're in April. In the middle of April. Be great for Christmas crafts. Just saying. And then this one I bought... Specifically for the craft tote because my friend Miss Amanda's gonna love it. Look at that sloth. Look how cute. He's so adorable. You get nine feet of that. But you see what I mean that they all say the animal on it. See it? And only this one actually has an animal on it, so whatever. I don't care as long as they give me that buffalo chick. That is it for that section. Next we have toys and I did it again. I bought a lot. Not really a lot, just kind of unnecessary. But I picked up this 350 piece puzzle by Crazy Art. Me and my daughter were talking about how you wanted to do a puzzle together. And I just love anything ocean wise i love it i'm a big nerd like documentaries are my thing um anything that has to do with the ocean i'm watching it so this it is 18 by 11 inch cultural aquarium fish is what this is called Whoop. i threw it across the room Next, I found some more goodies from the kitchen play set. And I picked up two of the same one by accident because there's actually three options and I thought I grabbed the other option, but I don't. I didn't. The other option was fruit, but it doesn't make sense. So, you get a cutting board, a knife, a tomato, and a corn. And I thought it would just be... Um, super cute. I'll put one for Kenzie's toy basket here. Another one I'll put back for random birthdays that come along or something like that. Because, you know, I always like to have that kind of stuff on hand. And I'm running out of room. Okay. And then the next one is you get the cutting board and the knife, but you get the like a broccoli and a carrot. And see, it is from the kitchen play set. So, and a couple of hauls ago, go, I um, hauled like foods and stuff and pots and pans and this will be great to go along with it. And then I found these little things and I'm going to put these back for I'm missing one I think but anyway I'll find it eventually. Um, I'm going to put this back for in the gift box. The little box that you have for all gifts. Um, but this is a dental set. <laughs> Look. You get your brush, your tweezers, your pullers, your teeth, and your little tray. How cute is that? And this is ages three and up. And then this one is a doctor kit. And they had this option in pink as well. But I like this one. It could be, 
either. Again, not that it matters. Just my preference. So, and we're also going to put that in the gift bin. Okay. Guys, I keep dropping stuff. Alright. And next is something else I bought for the toy bin. And I'm going to be honest, I passed these up 101 times. And I decided, you know what, this is going to be great to put back for when I need a quick gift. And it is Hot Wheels. I picked up two of the Hot Wheel track sets. Two of them. And I picked up the hook and loop or whatever they call it. What do they call this? Hot Wheel Loop. I'm sorry. Not Hook and Loop. There you go. So, there's that. And then I picked up the uh, launcher. So, and then, to go with this, I picked up one Hot Wheel, which it is a Corvette Grand Sport Roadster, if you care. Some people have a thing for... Hot Wheels. I know my son used to love Hot Wheels. I miss those days where you could just get by by going to the store and buying one Hot Wheel. Pfft, yeah, right. Not anymore. But how cute would this be for a gift? And I paid one, two, three, five bucks for it. You cannot go wrong. You cannot. I don't even know what I'm going to do now. There we go. That is it for that section. Woo! I about dropped it. All right, next is makeup, and I found some goodies. I'm going to start off with this because I'm super pumped about this. Um, so this is finger polish remover. We've seen this before, right? Wrong. This is not Dollar Tree brand. All right, you see it? It is that TMS brands we've been seeing lately. With, actually, I have this. The makeup brush cleaner which I already hauled but I bought another one for my daughter so and just so you know it's a rinse free formula quick drying all right but this it's by that brand and they also make the muscular miss the makeup remover stuff and I've been looking for that and I can't find it yet and I'm super sad about it but anyway this is luxury nail polish remover non-acetone with convenient pup Makes nail stronger for natural nails spill proof pump. And it's a good size. Like it's as big as my hand almost. So. Name brand. Name brand. And I really like this. Like this watercolor effect it has going on. I don't I don't know why, but I like it. So. Also name brand. Is the Bathory Live Laugh Lather Lit Spa um, Exfoliating Bath Cloth? It says exfoliating for smooth, soft skin, two and a half larger than a regular washcloth. And it, it was available in pink too, but I got this blue. And on the back right here, it says available exclusively at Target. Lies, because I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But it's just like, almost like a sponge, but made into a washcloth. So, it says to use wet and apply cleaning product. Gently scrub body in circular motion, motion for hard to reach areas such as your back. Simply grab both ends of the cloth and massage skin. Like that. So, name brand. And let's continue with this name brand. This was a wish list item. It is the Wet n Wild Silicone Applicator. Now, of course, the applicator itself is just glittery, but they put the face on it. I'm going to pick this up for my daughter. Maybe she'd use it because she's getting into makeup and stuff. So, there is that. And it was the only one I found. I don't know. I guess they sold out really quick. This was a wish list item. It is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick. 
It is the color porcelain. But I've been looking for this. There we go. So yes, wish list item. I, I've been seeing people hauling these all over the place and I haven't found it. And I was uh, super upset about it. Yay, I found it and in my shade. So, I got occupied. I found some more wet and wild. All right, this one, it is a limited edition. Look at the skulls on it. Like, to be honest, that's why I bought it. Um, it is the liquid cat suit. And it is in the color wicked pink. I'm assuming this was like a Halloween edition. Hello. There we go. Wicked pink. Look at it. I think it's really pretty. And then this is Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the color Video Vixen. This is an interesting color. I might want to show it to you where you can read it, huh? Here we go. Like I don't, I'm not sure about this color. Get off me. So, and I would try it, but this video is already getting long, so we're just going to continue to roll on. But I'm sure you'll see me wear it in another video down the road, and when you do, I'll point it out. And then this I picked up for my daughter because this is the type of stuff she likes. It is Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss Lip Gel. It is just a clear gloss, but it is Wet n Wild name brand, and I got it for a dollar. Super excited about all this. And then the last thing is Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer. I've hauled this before. I love it. So I bought another one. It is oil free, silicone free, dermatologist tested, sensitive skin. And I do have sensitive skin sometimes. And it is in sheer envy. Hard Candy. Yes. Please. And then I picked up this cuticle oil and nail strengther but i'm pretty sure that i broke it because it's leaking so i'll just salvage what i can because my nails are gross but if it's not broken anywhere i'll see i'll see how it goes we won't spend any time on that all right down to the nitty gritty over here with 33 minutes in so bear with me all right so i picked up uh, mm -hmm. of Job's for flowering plants 30 spikes I'm sorry I got into the zone there it's just to feed the plants um, I planted all my flowers already so I'm going to stick some of these in there to help them Try it out. It is made in the USA and I got it for a dollar. $36 for a dollar. Yes, ma'am. Please. Balling on the budget. And then in my last video, no, a couple videos ago, um, I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry. I'm horrible with names. But well, I was talking about the big giant pots and they mentioned that they had the um, planter trolleys with the wheels. And I found them. Isn't that amazing? I hadn't seen them before and someone mentioned it. And ta-da, they showed up in my local store. And this is something I would be looking for. So I would have found it if they had it before. But they didn't. But they had it. And in the color I needed it. It has wheels. So thank you to whomever you were. I really appreciate it. I'm always up to find good things. So, yes, I'm super excited about this. And then the very last thing is um, 
party, I guess. I picked up some more tissue paper by Voila. And this one I, is very Mother Day. But it has these really pretty flowers. Now, let me show you the back because this will get a better picture. Look at that. I love the detail in them. The color combination is fantastic. And then a pink to go with it. So this would be super cute for something for Mother's Day or the little girl's birthday, whatever. And this one spoke to the nerd side of me. Look at the comic book. Look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. And it got it has the iconic comic book red that you always see with it. This makes me happy. This will be great for guys gifts. Um, well, my, my guy anyway. Your guy may not like it, but mine does. Um, boy gifts. Nerdy girls like me gifts. <laughs> yes. For a dollar, you get eight of them. And then I picked up one gift bag, and it is a happy birthday bag. But I love the color combinations. Each balloon is different. You've got the gold, the pinks, the purples. This balloon says happy birthday. Flowers. The sides are just perfect. I think if they would have done anything else, it would have been too much. And then these, the handles, is a great rose gold. I think that is a fantastic choice for this shade. I love this. And I'm trying to do really, really good about keeping this kind of things on hand. So, guys, I did it. I got through all of it. That's everything I hauled. I had to haul. Now I get to put all of it away. Yay. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate the love and support. Um, I'm trying really hard to do y'all right and I'm I, I love Dollar Tree it's a slight addiction I think yeah but it's okay because we're in it together so without any further ado um I hope everyone has a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching I'll see you in my next Dollar Tree haul bye